Hi there, this is Renee with Odonet, and today I want to talk about the latest releases for the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. There were actually two releases recently, uh, this past week, and that was for 4.1 and version 3.18. So 4.1 is the latest uh, new version of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, and 3.18 is uh, the latest current uh, no, full feature release that is used in ArcGIS Align. So a lot of the features that are in the um, 3.18 version is the stuff that you're seeing in ArcGIS Align right now. So what's interesting, uh, the new stuff out of 4.1, you can check out. Uh, if you go out to the guide over here, you get a nice little overview um, and some release notes. And one of the most exciting things probably coming out of 4.1 are all of the updates to the map image layer. And you can go ahead and look through all the documentation and a uh, little guide in here. But basically, um, all the updates to the map image layer make it much easier for you to be able to work with these sub layers of the map image layer. And if you're not familiar with what the map image layer does, is that uh, it does generate a image on the server. Uh, however, unlike a uh, no, tiles that you get for base maps, for example, it doesn't serve out tiled images. It actually just creates a single image for whatever bounding box or extent that you're asking for. And it's pretty powerful because you can also, uh, per sublayer, define a definition expression so you can query data out. You can define custom renderers to define how you want the data to be drawn. Um, you can even define uh, pop-ups, custom pop-ups templates per sublayer, which is also pretty powerful as well. So it's a pretty versatile uh, layer that you can use in your application. I mean, images are fast to render, so it's not like it's a, a, a slow to bring in lots of data. It's also really good at being able to display very large data sets as well that may be difficult to draw uh, as SVG graphics on the map. So the map image there is pretty powerful. Uh, lots of new features coming on in here. Uh, please look it over. There's a lot of different stuff hanging out, happening there. Um, integrated, integrated mesh layer, a little tongue twister there. So this is new for the 3D side in 4.1. If you want to work with this, so it gives you uh, be able to work with, uh, as it describes here, detailed 3D representations of both infrastructure and natural landscapes in a single layer. So basically just uh, be able to create more realistic looking scenes inside of your layers. So the integrated mesh layer is also pretty uh, interesting as well. Uh, the pop-up. So the pop-up actions, which you uh, may be familiar with in 4.0, uh, let you create these little um, custom actions you can do on the pop-up to do certain things. So now you can create custom actions per feature, which is also pretty great. Uh, there's also some other interesting um, updates coming on. The CSV layer is in here. There's a uh, print task now. Uh, one thing that's very interesting here is the fact that you can uh, save your web scenes. So there's a web scene.save and web scene.save as. And this will save your scene back to Portal uh, or ArcGIS Online. Uh, this is interesting because it lays the foundation for future work that can be done to uh, save web maps, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing I kind of like is uh, just because I really like this particular module is the collection um, has added a flatten method, uh, which is very useful if you ever have to work with large nested arrays. Uh, so flatten them out and get one single collection out of multiple arrays or collections. That's also really nice. Um, and some various other updates you can look at as well. So for 3.18, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff going on. So if you go to the uh, guide and we look at what's new in version 3.18 over here. So we've got the uh, support for related records that are in the feature table. And this is an update that we saw in an earlier release of ArcGIS Online uh, in the, uh, the data tab where that feature table was really nice, had a lot of really great features in it, things like being able to show the related records, uh, show links to attachments and things like that. So um, that uh, functionality is now inside the 3.18 version of the API. 
uh, other things in here, uh, again, this is all talking about the feature table, uh, all the different stuff you can do, uh, revamped uh, vector, vector tile layer support. So um, this talks about all the different uh, things that have been added to the vector tile layer in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Um, it still supports uh, Mapbox GL and vector tile specifications. So you could you lo go ahead and load your Mapbox vector tiles with the API. However, we've gone ahead and added uh, right to left support for map labels and some uh, language support that's been extended in here. Um, so there's a lot of new updates there. There's some OGC support, so you go OGC guys, you still uh, want these uh, WCS layers. Uh, WFS layer improvements have been done. Um, so the elevation profile widget. There are new themes uh, happening in 318, so we have a dark theme happening in here. Oh, and that's one thing I didn't uh, bring up as well in 4040. Let me see if it's got in here. Uh, let's see here. Do not see it here, but I'm sure it's somewhere, maybe under a uh, sample code. Themes. All right, so we have themes now in the ArcGIS API 4.1. I went back because I, I figured I'll look at this one. But you can go ahead, if we go to the styling guide here where it's linking to, um, there are themes now in 4.1. There's a dark theme, light blue, dark blue, light green, and so on. You can go ahead and add to your API by this little uh, style sheet snippet right here. Just add that to your map, uh, give it one of the themes that's this is above, and you can theme out your entire application. That's also very cool. Uh, there's instructions here about able to use SAS, that's in the Bower release. Uh, it's all really cool stuff. Now, speaking of the Bower release of the API, uh, the Bower releases went out uh, over the weekend, so just after the release. And one thing to note, um, everything is pretty much the same as it was in previous uh, releases for the Bower release. However, one thing that's a little, uh, slightly different in the 3x version of the release, if you're doing dojo builds, and if we look at the build profile here, we are recommending that when you do your build, uh, not only create a uh, layer for Dojo Dojo, so all of your code for your application will end up in the dojo.js file, but create a layer file for the Esri layers, vector tile layer, M IMPL uh, file. And you want to do that because this particular file gets loaded dynamically if you're using vector tiles. and it loads its own modules so if you um, don't uh, do it you can't build it into the uh, main dojo uh, slash dojo.js file because it's loaded dynamically it won't get picked up so build it on itself and it'll go ahead and um, you know load all its dependencies to a single file so yeah now you have two layer files being used in your application just to give you an idea what that looks like so here is the uh, sample application for 3x load it in here and these are all of the javascript files that would come in here if you did not build your application so this is unbuilt these are all the javascript files that get loaded all the css files that get loaded and so we see we have what 635 requests but that's for images and css and javascript uh, my canary for whatever reason is not um, listing all the javascript files if i try and filter it by javascript uh, let's see if i go all let's try JS, that might be better. Okay, so 438 files or JavaScript files. And if we looked at the built version, there we go. So we've got the Dojo JS game loaded here. We've got the vector tile uh, layer file game loaded here. So the built Dojo file is 1.3 megabytes. Um, and the built uh, vector tile layer uh, implementation file is 234K. And then we're, we have uh, worker files that get loaded um, to be able to work with the vector tile layers in here. So that's the one change that was done for the build um, sample for the 3X version of the API. The, the 4.1 uh, version uh, did not change. That's all uh, pretty simple. Um, we also, I think I did add the, uh, where is that? Oh, insert absolute mids uh, is zero, so false. 
and then uh, intern strings. I forget what this one does actually. I have to look this one up again. But basically, this one here is not going to add the module name uh, to the modules when they get built. Um, it was giving, throwing some weird errors at me when I tried to do it this way. Uh, I couldn't track down exactly why I threw the errors at me. Uh, I didn't need it before um, with the version of the Dojo build tools, but I did this time around. Uh, it's probably something I shouldn't have been doing anyway to begin with. So that's it. So we've got the uh, the 3x version of the API. Uh, look through the docs, look through the guide, uh, so you can see exactly what's new for everything. See if that's going to work out for you. Um, it's a great uh, release. And the 4.1 version of the API again. Look through all the documentation. Look through the 3D stuff. And again, map image layer is a, a really great improvement here. There's a lot happening here. So there are two releases happening at the same time, which is pretty neat. So you have choices in what you want to do. Thank you.